loft using area or area loft. Here I have two geometric shapes I'm going to loft between. So I'm going to go up to loft. I'm going to select on the section. I'm going to pick this bottom section first. I'm going to pick the bottom section and this is a straight loft. We're going to come over and use not the rails or the center line. We're going to use the area loft. When I pick on area loft They'll ask me to pick the center line. So I come over here and select the center line. I say select sketch and I pick the center line. And it creates a position of the start area and the end area with its basic uh, volume. Or not volume, it's uh, area rather, excuse me. Now, I want to place a section. So I click to add. And I'm going to come over here and grab a hole of this. Um, object and I'm just going to eyeball it on the center line and I'm going to pick. And right now it gives me a position and it shows me as far as a, uh, a distance here and a particular size. So I'm going to start off by saying well I really want that at about 0.35 so I can change that. And I wanted to have this fairly small and narrow so I'm going to say it's 300 square millimeters. I'm going to say OK. Notice how it shrinks it in. It comes down to this position and shrinks it to that size. Now I'm going to add another point. And this time I'm going to pick it a little higher up here and I'm going to come up here and say oh the position is fine. Well no I really wanted let's say right on the money 0.7 and I want to come out and make mine a little bit bigger as far as my area so I'm going to say it's 800 and oops, maybe I'll go 800 right on the money here 800 I'm going to say OK and notice how it bulged it out like that now if you're going along and say well it's not just exact I can come over here and click on here right double click on it and I can say oh I really wanted to go to 900 I can say OK, and it will adjust that area accordingly. So I can add these sections in to the loft, and it will control it by the area through those sections. So I can tell how much area I wanted to go through that particular section. Down here I wanted 300, up here I wanted 900, and it will do its best it can into build that geometry based on that uh, area amount and it uh, generates the resultant loft based on those area values. And now I say OK and I end up with the generated uh, loft.